The future of Buffalo's tallest building is in new hands tonight. The one Seneca Tower has a definite buyer. 7 Eyewitness News anchor reporter Jeff Russo working the story for us right now. That's right, Keith. Uh, perhaps some new life for the virtually empty one Seneca Tower in downtown Buffalo. Just the af this afternoon, details emerging about a purchase and sales agreement for the 38-story building. This made by the Douglas Development Group. That is a real estate company based out of Washington, D.C. Now, within the last hour, I spoke with the company's president, Douglas Jamal. He says he is attracted to the revitalization happening here in Buffalo and says the building offers a prime development opportunity. Jamal tells me when finished, he envisions the building being a third residential, a third as office and retail space, and the final third of that 38-story building as a hotel. Now, you probably remember a deal with a New York City developer falling through back this spring, but Jamel tells me, quote, I'm in, and that the company has already done its due diligence. He expects this deal to close by the middle of October with work beginning shortly thereafter. Now, there's still work to be done here in what would be a huge project. No financial details were released today. Now, when looking into the background of Douglas Development, pretty well established as a company, but did find out that Jamal was sentenced 10 years ago to five years probation for wire fraud in connection with real estate dealings in Washington, D.C. Ashley. Okay.